Okay, I'm Got gonna. It. We're good. And we're live, baby. Amanda Shamsey here, <laughs> Matt Taiki. First How's time going? doing live. Yep. First time live. Yep. First time live. Absolutely. So I'm gonna, if you can too, uh, we'll share this on okay. our social. You will be able to see so like how many people right now people are still logging on. So we got zero right there. Okay. Uh, but you will be able to see here people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's up, Tangerine Dream? JMP. Yeah. We're joining. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's Friday. We're feeling good. Shamsie's on fire. I'm excited that she's here. And you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. As you know, the goal is to provide as much value as we can, get out good content, talk some real estate, talk life in general. I'm going to Corpus today. Um, what we're going to talk about a little bit is uh, Amanda's journey on breaking out of the nine to five. Mm-hmm. It's been very encouraging for me to see because I remember having coffee with you and you kind of being a little nervous and scared yes. of, I don't know where things are going to come from yes. to mm-hmm. now you've got more than you can handle. Yes. Right. Uh-huh. Yep. And looking at building your own team. Yep. I hope that you're feeling really good about very, things. Very much so. Motivated mm-hmm. yes. and, and on fire yep. and encouraged. Yep. So maybe just talk a little bit about what you have going on okay. right now okay. and then we'll back up to kind of how you got there in okay. some sense. Okay. Awesome. But thank yeah. you guys, you know, comment, like, if you want to call in, please do ask Amanda questions, ask me questions and uh, happy Friday. Okay. So I really, um, what I have going on right now, I've just got off the phone with a developer in Lockhart mm-hmm. um, looking at 40 single family homes, some townhomes, and uh, maybe some duplexes um, and apartments. And we're looking at a tree doing all of it. That's beautiful. Yep. And talk about no fear attitude. Yeah. You've never, it's you've never done never this. Never have I done this. Well, you're just no, jumping just in. just jumping in. Um, the thing is, is you have to start somewhere. And Jonathan is always saying amateurs built the ark, uh, experts built the Titanic. Yeah. And just that's what I keep in my head is, is, you know, everybody starts somewhere and it's providing value talking to them having these relationships and just getting to know them and that goes so far yeah and building Mm -hmm. like thinking long term Mm -hmm. like you just got a listing Mm -hmm. on chinko teague yep which she said she didn't want to list they were not going to list. and that's the other thing is like there's constantly (laughs) objections that you Mm -hmm. have to overcome overcome Mm -hmm. that's a good way to put it constantly and People change their mind constantly. And finding their, what do they need? What do they need help with? You know, there were a lot of things going on with that deal, the Chinko Teague, and that's going on the market next Thursday. Um, Round Rock West. Just, yep, Round Rock West. Gorgeous house, 2,900 square foot. Um, but the thing with that one was, what do, what do they need the most help with? And when I really zeroed in on that, and that's that's when the magic happened, mm-hmm. you know, because they, they felt they felt better about the situation going in. They into. had problems that need to mm-hmm. be solved yes. and not yes. just, hey, get a sign, nope. get it listed. Not just how much is this worth. There yeah. were there were a lot of other things. So just finding finding what they needed and um, just talking it out, building that relationship. And staying in touch. Way. And staying in touch. That's following up. Follow up. I I sent that guy, it was it was the the husband. I sent quite a few messages before anybody reached out to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love it. So yeah. we got a couple questions. Okay, uh, yeah. What was your biggest fear when first getting started into real estate and how did you get through it? Um, uh, biggest fear was putting myself out there in front of people and thinking, what are they going to think of me? And I'm, I don't have any credibility. What are those people? Are they even going to trust me? And I thought, no, like it's, it's so much, it's just doing it, just getting out there and doing it and being yourself. And I'm still scared every day with with. She didn't with things. necessarily want to be on this, right? <laughs> I did this, not want to be you, on this. This, but you're this just life. doing it. Just do it. Yeah. Just freaking do it. And Matt said, like, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Well, yeah, I'm still gonna be alive yeah. tomorrow. Still gonna carry on. And what's the worst that's gonna happen? Yeah. And you know, you just is... gotta do it. And another thing too is worrying about what other people think. That I've had to get through is they're not paying your bills. That's the bottom line. They're not paying your bills. Sure. And just going just out there, getting it. doing well, it. Well, this is a big step for you. Just getting on here and <laughs> you're on fire doing deals. Uh, Michael commented over here. What's the best oh, best thing one? about working for TRE? First of all, oh, nobody wow. works. Nobody t- works for TRE. You work with them. Let's go. <laughs> that is it right there. With, not for yeah. is a core value. It's it's important. Mm-hmm. It's just a word, but it means something and it's true. Mm-hmm. I've never, I've I've like tried to encourage you and push you, but I've never told mm-hmm. you what to do. Mm-mm. And I try yep. to preface it with like, hey, 
if you want this uh -huh. and that here's, means something yes it does and here's here's what i do here's what's worked and and it it's never for it is it is with and i guess the best thing about working with them with everybody up here is the energy the the collaboration and the common goal of we're we're doing something big here and it's 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 fascinating to watch yeah it's fun it's fun it's to awesome. be a part of and yeah. now at this point like it really feels like it's way more than just me and alex like yeah. it's its own thing yes which is really special yeah because it's going to go in all different directions mm -hmm. tre's getting into new home sales yes. out of nowhere and quickly <laughs> no like, and then that's just the first community we have another community that in georgetown um that we're looking at listing nine properties there and then 30 30 in the next phase yeah that's so awesome that's, that's next big things happening so mm -hmm. to back up obviously you there's a lot of things you enjoyed about teaching mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. teaching's yes. hard yep. but were you always wanting something different or was that towards the end of your career and um, what was it that uh kind of pushed you to go all in on real estate yeah that's a good question um i absolutely loved teaching i loved um the relationships with the students, with the teachers, with admin, parents, um, and and a big training that I went through in teaching. Um, if any teachers are out there, you'll know this: uh, capturing kids' hearts. And it was it was awesome. It's all about building relationships. That's the biggest thing. That is the that is the core of it: building relationships. And I loved that I can transfer that into real estate. Mm -hmm. um, but I always did feel that there was something else I should be doing. You know, I got my master's in education, thinking I was going to be a principal and just just never just didn't just didn't happen just didn't mm -hmm. feel right just mm -hmm. didn't click and it's hard my it's wife hard. did it <laughs> she did it for two years and she would come yeah. home crying mm -hmm. uh once a week mm -hmm. just yeah you know yeah. and she she was getting up at five and mm -hmm. like preparing i was like this is hard mm -hmm. and it for, seems like and the the internal reward mm -hmm. is massive yeah but the monetary reward yeah. is poverty but it also takes a toll mm -hmm. This yeah. is my perception. Tell me if this is accurate, but it seems like some teachers uh, really go all in and they care mm -hmm. and they kind of get burnt out. Mm -hmm. And then some are like, they, they <laughs> care, but they don't really care mm -hmm. to, they just show up. Yeah. And so it's like, is, I don't know if that's true, but it's like the ones that stick around are like <clears throat> somewhat checked out. And the ones that yep. really, really want to help, they just get burnt out. Yeah, it's it's kind of like the agents that say, "Well, I've been doing this thirty years," and they're they're grumpy and they're they're disgruntled, and mm -hmm. it's just like that. That the teachers have been teaching forever, they've seen it all, and they're 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 exhausted. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. hardcore. It's hard, but um, you know, I I had a we had a baby in twenty nineteen and wanted to stay home, and um, that was kind of the turning point. Is uh. Look at that now baby what? over there. He's, he's over there. So cute. Andrew, <laughs> sh show the people three. this. Can you turn the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, show. Okay. Come on. He's so cute. Okay. Look at this, guys. Van, look over here. Can say you look hi. right here? Can you say hi? Say hi. All right. There we go. <laughs> say hi, guys. Wait. Say hi, Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> if you're on Facebook and you want to see that, you got to go to Instagram. Um. Yeah, so wanted to stay home, wanted to be there for my family, and... um thought that I had to stay in education. Sure. You know, okay, well, I don't want to go back to the classroom. What am I going to do next? Work for a textbook company? Do I go work for the state? Do I, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And um, my fiance Cameron said, you've got to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Just read it, just read it, just read it. So finally, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. You got to read that. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Finally read it and thought, wait a minute, what have I been doing? Mm. Like, what have I been doing all this time? Sure. So signed up the that afternoon that I finished reading it um signed up for classes in may and finished them in august of uh, and that was right in time of covid too okay yeah so originally i was doing it for the investing side then i then i caught the residential bug i think with real estate and i really like this side of it too but uh another thing i've got going on met uh talked with brad sweat today mm -hmm. shout out if he is on here brad. <laughs> new type key agent there we go new tree agent um and um looking at some flips in sweet yeah he's mm -hmm. doing some cool things yeah. and he's trying to meet people yep there's a lot of people on here right oh, now oh gosh don't do that we got me. 18 people don't on instagram four guys if you have any questions or you want to call in please do give me a call on myself right here 512-914-4806 512-914-4806 and um 
it's pretty funny. My mom says that uh, Amanda's the Daisy. Yeah, and she like, calls me Daisy. I'm like, I she's, love it. she's really nice and sweet. <laughs> but Amanda is a grinder and she's working really hard. And you, as much as it looks fun, there's a lot, there's right? And so it's stressful. Much. And, mm -hmm. you know, these builders, you know, are going to come back and say, we're pulling the plug. We're not mm -hmm. listening. Mm -hmm. That happens. And, yeah, they're pulling and, the plug on one of them today on the one the in, lot. Yeah, the lot. What are they going to do with it? Uh, we're going to turn around and sell the lot. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. so, so it happens. But my and you went through mm -hmm. that um, two or three weeks ago, where, mm -hmm. where you're like getting let down. Yep. But it you just push through. You, keep you just going. push yes. through. You keep going. Mm -hmm. You get around great people, and real estate is a component of what we do. But we're trying to do something more important in life in general. Like yeah. be have a freedom. Exactly. Come. There's so much more. And and yeah, it's you know people make that joke. I left my nine to five to work twenty four seven, mm -hmm. and some of that is true, but you can also, you create the day you want. You do. And there's an, there's an agent in Austin and I, I cannot remember his name, but his voicemail says that you create the day you want. And I asked him about it and he said, you know, somebody told me years ago that statement when mm. I was, when I was 18, 19 years old and I, it, it stuck with me and it's something he's built his life around is create the day you want. And yeah, I, I love it. it is so true. I don't, you you know, do it how you want. You do it how you want. And uh, if anyone knows that agent, let us know. We <laughs> yeah. got to meet this guy. Uh, yep. But yeah, you were. I saw. I think on your Instagram or Facebook, you were on a walk earlier, mm -hmm. and I do mm -hmm. that. And yep. you could go on a walk, and you could make your calls. Mm -hmm. Maybe right. this is a call in. Okay, if see. not, I'm sorry. Hello, this is Matt. Hi, Matt. My name is Kendall. I work with the Home Loan Expert. I'm looking for an HR Dang contact it. to send over a verification of employment for a client. Yeah, um, let me, uh, can you email alex at trehomes.com? Do you mind? Alex at, I'm sorry. Sorry, T sorry. Trehomes.com? Sure. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. All okay. right, bye. Well, we thought that was a call yeah, in. A, it was not. That's all right. Call in, please. <laughs> Lucy, Taylor, Jackson. Guys, give us a call. Let us know. Amanda broke out of uh, the nine to five and now she's thriving in real estate and creating the life that she wants. She's on a walk with the kids. I'm mm -hmm. going to Corpus today. I've got them with me right now. And that's another thing is I bring my boys. Um, I'm looking at a duplex with an investor client mm -hmm. at uh, three. Mm -hmm. And that's another story. This girl is 21 years old. She's buying a duplex. She's going to house hack. And her goal is to have two more properties before she, the time she's 25. Good. It's, it's awesome. Um, but showing a duplex with my boys at three and I include them on things. Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> My grandma joined. Keep going. I want them to see that um, they can do this too. They can push through their fears. And Dude, you had them they, come to our listing appointment and they wanted to swap out. I was yeah. like, I want to go in <laughs> They now. wanted to swap like, out. We cool. had to swap out every five minutes so they could come in. <laughs> Gia, one of our agents in Corpus, uh -huh. is, uh, was telling us a story yesterday how her dad made her cold call and she hated it. Oh, wow. And he's like, you got to go call these clients to get us business. And she just started doing it. And now she's so thankful and she's thriving. Wow. And it's that fear of like, nothing's scary is in your head and you uh -huh. go do it for five uh -huh. hours and you're great. Yep. Right. Like you somewhat have a fear of what you said, being uh -huh. on social media. Uh -huh. Now uh -huh. this alone yeah, this will is, probably, oh, right. there's like, and when we share these things, they, uh -huh. they do get like thousand plus views. That's wild. So now you're now yeah. it's all easy. Yeah, exactly. Just doing it, just pushing through it, just doing it. Yeah, because mm -hmm. it could have been e it was it would have been easy to say no. Sure. No, I've got van with me. Can't do it. And then it just becomes yeah. fun. Yeah. Call in if you guys have. Oh, we got. Oh no! All right, all right. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Ozil, what's going on? Uh, John Haskew just got my license, ready to leave the gym business. Come on, John. John, uh, where are you? First yeah. of all, where's your gym? Where's your gym? Where do you live? What brokerage are you at? Mm -hmm. Amanda, what's one goal you want to achieve before the end of the year? All right. Ooh. Um. I would like to have one investment property Sweet. by the end of the year. Yep. And um. Yeah, and that's and, a good and, goal. And a that's buyer's a, agent helping me out. A buyer's agent helping yeah. you out. What do you mean? Oh, on, team, on your team. On a team or something. She's building that's a building, team. Building a something building something cool don't know she's what it's building the team like she you know chattanooga tennessee Ooh, okay. all right thanks for joining from tennessee we're here to help any way we can if you uh want to you know follow us on social media if you want to reach out i've given out my mm -hmm. cell phone i do more time 
512-914-4806. DF Cleaning, thanks for joining. Grace, thanks for joining. Oh, you know Grace said, hey, girl. You sound just like Where? your mama. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, hey, that's my cousin. Hey, Grace. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the gym is in Tennessee. Is this one? Uh, TikTok. Oh, okay. TikTok. All right. And, um, you know, the goal is to show people that you can break out of it. And it mm -hmm. nine to five doesn't mean it's bad. Mm -hmm. It's just, are you looking at the clock and not enjoying what you do? That's bad. Yeah. Do you live for the weekend? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to just live for Saturday and Sunday, mm -hmm. you know? Totally. Yeah. You can, your, your Friday morning could mm -hmm. be a Saturday. Exactly. 50% yeah. done with my license. Susan, let's awesome. go reach out. Where are you, Susan? Susan, where are you at? We got a question from none other than Andrew. <laughs> how do you get your clients? Like, how were you starting to get clients when you started out? Um, I honestly, I started paying for some leads in the beginning. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to reach out to my sphere yet. I wanted to prove myself and prove I could do some things and get some credibility. So I, I bought some leads and really pushed social media. I connected with other agents. That was, I made that my focus, connecting with other agents in other markets. Um, I see the value in that and the value in even connecting with them here. Like, that's another thing you push is, <sighs> is meeting up with agents. And a lot of them don't understand why would that be valuable? Well, we can partner up, we can do things, we can bring each other deals. And um, so that way paying for leads first and then uh, sphere. So referral based. I love it. Best lessons you've learned this year from Kat. Best lessons. Um, I'll tell mine. Okay, go. Um, mine is to not get let down by other people and just realize that the, the right people that believe in what you're doing and want to be part of it are going to be there and pour into them as much as you can mm -hmm. and have no negativity if somebody uh, is not about it or doesn't want to be part of it just to not even think twice just to think that they've got their own path instead of thinking oh they missed out or i can't believe they weren't part of this mm -hmm. that's fine like we're not perfect we're not the only way we're one way to team up and to grow together mm -hmm. and to just be all positive on what's ahead and not think man they left the brokerage like I'm mad at them. I'm going to mm -hmm. block them. Cause I did go through that mm -hmm. and we got fired that, up yeah. and it is a yeah. little, it was a little hurtful uh, because I think I was looking at it wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's okay. Yeah. Right. That's yep. okay. So that was yep. a big one for me. Yep. Me um, kind of ties into that is don't take everything so personally and, and don't overthink everything. Um, I tend to, y'all have said, don't overthink it. I don't know how many times, yeah. you know, just it's true. don't overthink it and just, just go. Just Cause do you it. don't want to be something that mm -hmm. you're not like, exactly. you, you don't want this email to look how they want it to look. You want it to be who, who you, you are, are. And, and you attract the type of people you're going to work around yeah. and, and, uh, you know, putting yourself in that room with them yeah. to get in there. There's a freedom to that. And mm -hmm. like, I'm doing it my way, mm -hmm. which really means something like mm -hmm. if you're trying to cater to them, now you're yep. working for them. Yep. Not with exactly. them. Exactly. With, not for, yeah. baby. <laughs> if anyone else can tell us a core value or a core focus of TRE, what's what the prize, Andrew? <laughs> Tiff Treats. All right. Tiff Treats. Core value, core focus. Let us know Tiff Treats. But it's a beautiful day in Austin. I'm going to Corpus. I'm technically, in a sense, like going on vacation, but I'm going to be grinding and meeting people and uh, drumming up business there and i've got to get you connected with my uncle there please yeah uh, yeah i know you yes. texted once yes I, but i should do a group text yeah with all. please i'd yeah. love to meet him um it, and you know that someone told me yesterday uh in the bible there's nothing about retiring hmm. i'm like i don't want to retire mm -hmm. like i just want to have this lifestyle mm -hmm. maybe do it a little bit differently mm -hmm. but i always want to be doing stuff and growing yeah. and you don't want to just do nothing mm -hmm. You, you might want to do that for a little bit, yeah. but you'll get tired and then you're not growing. And so real estate allows you to do so much. Right. Cat hit us with the unofficial core value. <laughs> Fucking supportive. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> Andrew hates it, <laughs> but he knows it's true. Love it. Own I real estate. It. Megan Templeton. Guys, we appreciate you. We're constantly here to help. We care. Uh, we're driven. We're motivated. We're feeling good today. 
by no means perfect, but very clear on what we want to accomplish. Susan's in South Texas. Susan, Susan, are you in Corpus? And are you in real estate? Megan, uh, if you want to own real estate, let us know how we can help. Mm -hmm. Reach out to Amanda. Reach out to myself. Yep. We're oh, always and, here. And John has two gyms. That's awesome. Sweet. I love it. Yeah. Christopher, what's good, brother? We're about to sign out. Uh, we'll leave it open for like two more minutes if anyone wants to call or has any questions. Thought it was a core. Own real oh, estate. Oh, own real estate. Oh, I see what she's saying. Core focus. In and on. Close. We can't give you tips, treats for that one. <laughs> but it was close. Core focus is make money in and on real estate. In on commissions, on on ownership. You go meet a client and they don't want to list it. That's okay. We got oh, other solutions. Okay. That's mm -hmm. a tool. Mm -hmm. And this is where you come to get more out of real estate for yourself and create generational wealth and not fit inside any box and grow with others and add value and have fun and hustle, baby. Yes. <laughs> this is where the entrepreneurs come to thrive. And uh, we've got a cool space here over off McNeil. Door is open. Anyone wants to come be a part of it. We've got multiple trainings every week. Uh, we try hard to pour into people, as you've seen, yep. the people that uh, want to plug in here and do more. They just naturally get more from us mm -hmm. as well. Yep. And then we That's go true. together. Yep. In and on. In and on, yep. baby. <laughs> Guys, we love you. For everyone working your nine to five, the weekend's almost started. If you're tired of that, it's a about to start work for us. Oh, that's a good question. Hold on one more. All right, here we go. He wants to trade his time for mentoring. No real estate license. Uh, yeah. hundred percent. Yep. Nope. You can do whatever you want with us. Mm -hmm. Just reach out. You got my number. You got our website. You got our email. Amanda's here to help. Yep. Um, being an agent and having your license is one tool. And that's what most brokerages yep. don't talk about. You can come here to be an entrepreneur and a real estate professional. Mm -hmm. Uh, Oziel or Oziel, not yeah. exactly sure, but we would love to connect with you. We'd love to help you any way we can. You want to tell them your email address? Yep. Shamsie, S-H-A-M-S-I-E at shamsiesells.com and reach out with any questions or find me on Instagram. Um, I don't know if I'm tagged on here, but yeah, send me a message. We appreciate you guys. Awesome. This was fun. Thank Go you Go get so it. Much. <laughs> Have a great day. Peace. Bye. Yep. Later, guys.